Hello, princesses, and welcome back to Not Fit for Print Beauty with me, Rebecca. It is time to review new lipsticks from Laura Mercier. I have a little selection here of the brand new Laura Mercier High Vibe Lip Color. Look, it was this time a year ago that I kind of had this inkling that we were going to get a lot of foundation releases. And I said, is this the month of foundations? It turned out to be the year of foundations. Look, fool me once, but you can't fool me twice. Is this gonna be the year of lipsticks? My goodness, I haven't even reviewed every lipstick release. And I feel like every time I turn around, there's a new lipstick release. And like I just told you, we have one from Laura Mercier. So let's talk about it. This is the High Vibe Lip Color, $32 with 16 shades. Um, really vivid color, and they describe the formula as a kind of melting sensation on the lips, which I would agree with. There is a, for those of you who are scent averse or fragrance averse, there is a very pleasant vanilla fragrance when you first open it and apply it that does dissipate, but for those of you that don't mind a gourmand scent, it's kind of a typical lipsticky uh, vanilla. Um, and it is, like they said, a melting sensation. This um, applies to the lips beautifully. It's super lightweight and comfortable. Let me tell you, it's hard to make an uncomfortable lipstick lately. The technology, the skin-loving ingredients in the lipsticks we buy now, if a lipstick is uncomfortable, that surprises me more than one being nice and comfy. In the past few years, we have had just a tremendous amount of innovations, both drugstore and high-end and luxury. The Laura Mercier, though, were $32, so kind of a, you know, a high-end price range. I purchased three of the 16 shades. Let's take a look at them now. We'll talk about how they last as well. Okay, so here is shade 103, Peak. Let me show you first also as we try it on. This is a little tube, and basically you roll it up this way. So real easy to apply with that kind of diagonal bullet, I guess we would call it. An easy shape, easy to apply. Here we go. Here is the Peak, peak shade, P-E-E-K, one swipe and two, and three, a really nice, intense color. It does snap back down, and the cap, for those of you that wonder, snaps into place very well so it won't come apart in your bag and dry out. I purchased 140, which is the shade Buzz. These are all kind of, these types of shades, traditional kind of lipstick shades. That was two swipes and three swipes, really smooth, really nourishing, feels a lot kind of like a lip treatment, almost like an oil combined with a lipstick. And then the shade that I'm actually wearing right now, which is 182 Bright. Let's do that in a few swipes. One, whoa, that's all you need is one there, right? One, two, and three. Woo! That is a bright lipstick. Not only does it appear to be the year of the lipsticks, maybe, um, it appears to be the year of the intensely shaded, not so much just gentle little stains, but the intensely shaded traditional lipstick, um, which we need to talk about. But first, let's go outside into the warm California sunshine. I'm gonna take that same arm outside so you guys can see what those shades look like outside in natural lighting. It's so hard to get color correctness, which is something I do want to talk about in an upcoming video. Uh, so a lot of people ask me um, with the Hourglass Unlocked lipstick review I did, do they last? Do they last through a meal? So we do need to talk about it, but first I want to show you me wearing each of these three out of 16 shades in the new Laura Mercier High Vibe Lip Color, so stay right there. Okay, what do you 
think and did you pick any of these up? And how does it compare to, say, the new Hourglass Unlocked that I just mentioned? A lot of people are asking me about these lipsticks. Do they last through a meal? No. These are very high pigment, very colorful, very traditional lipsticks. They are not traditional in the fact that they have skin-loving ingredients and they're more comfortable than a lipstick you would have worn five, six, seven years ago. But in terms of staying power, these are nurturing and fully pigmented, but they really won't last through a meal. Um, we are getting used to wearing stains. We are getting used to wearing liquid lipstick that's comfortable but doesn't move. This is not that, and the Hourglass is not that. These are traditional lipsticks. They'll stay on a little bit, but if you go out for a good salad or bite into a big sandwich, good for you. And, you know, you'll have to reapply your lipstick afterwards, just being kind of honest. Uh, did you pick any of these up? Would you get these over the Hourglass? It's a brand loyalty thing. For me, I would pick Hourglass. I'm a little bit more loyal to that brand, though obviously I love Laura Mercier and the woman herself is an immense talent, of course. Which will you buy? It depends. Do you have a lot of brand loyalty to Laura Mercier? Do you love her products? This is a lovely, intense, pigmented lipstick. And I do like the thin tube. It's kind of easy to snap and put on. It applies easily and well. There's no doubt about that. Um, I prefer the Hourglass if I had to choose. You might prefer the Laura Mercier simply for brand trust, but I want you to tell me that down below because that's what makes us a community. And do you think this is going to be the year of the intensely colored but more traditional application lipstick? I am curious. Yes, by the way, I did employ my little trick of using a very dense and small eye brush. Um, I have one from Sonia G that I love to feather out the lipstick when you wear a dark color. I think this works better than any lipstick brush and it washes out just beautifully. It's the tip I've been sharing in a lot of these lipstick videos. I also did a short on whether or not these type of lipsticks will stay on through a meal. I will start doing uh, shorts to address the questions that routinely come up in my comment section. And I hope that's helpful so you can make sure to ask away with your questions. I'll gather some of the popular ones uh, to do a short. Tell me what you think of that as well. It's what makes us a community. So make sure you put that below. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Make sure that you subscribe if you haven't already so we can continue to grow. Come and say a big hello over on Instagram and TikTok too. And don't forget that you can support all the wildness that happens on this channel by becoming a member or by giving super thanks as so many of you had. If nothing else, I look forward to seeing hopefully all of you in the next video. Bye-bye.